Our correspondents, Sid Hansibal and Trent Murray, have shared their take on the ongoing meeting and the possible outcome of the summit. Take a look. Well, the G7 is being hosted by Germany. It is underway and uh, while the Russian invasion of Ukraine is dominating uh, the issue, it's also the participation of leaders like the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. With me is my colleague Trent Murray from uh, Germany. Uh, welcome here. I mean, uh, it is really beautiful, but also there are issues dominating the politics one of course is the russian invasion of ukraine do you see any solution by the grouping that grouping can do anything look it's a very difficult one isn't it i mean there's just such a long list of problems that are associated with the war in ukraine of course you've got the military aspect which obviously gets most of the headlines but then you've got all these other issues famine and food security of course ukraine is the breadbasket for much of africa and the middle east and millions of tons of grain are currently stuck there right now supply chain problems many issues stemming from that war refugees as well making their way across europe i mean it's a, it's it's a very difficult time i think right now for the g7 leaders mm. but i think they know that obviously the world is watching but also i think they know president putin is watching he'll be looking for signs of whether there's any cracks in that unity and so that is why as they meet in that castle up on that mountain we're hearing a lot of words aren't we unity solidarity trying to show that they are together mm. that they're going to continue to support Ukraine and that they're all singing from the same hymn sheet mm. but it's all about talk talk outcomes joint statements press releases do you see I mean more than that the West coming together and uh, like President Zelensky today said that he would like to have more equipments in terms of defense equipments do you see the West providing any practical help to Ukrainian president yeah, well, look, I think I saw, you know, today the Americans are keen to ratchet up sanctions a little bit more on the Russian defence industry, effectively try and make it very difficult for them to replace their equipment as it's lost on the battlefield by denying them parts for new equipment. Um, I think we'll also see possibly some more weapons announcements. What, I, what you definitely notice is that you've got the UK and the Americans very keen to go in hard, help Ukraine basically with whatever they ask for. Europeans are a little bit more soft on this. They're, they're sort of not so keen to go full in. They have provided some stuff, don't get me wrong, but I think there is less of an appetite in Europe for a very long demanding war and they're cautious on it. So it is just a balancing act, I think, trying to keep everyone on the same page. But you know, it is a challenging one. And so that is why I think we see so many statements and press releases. But you know, for what it's worth, military experts will say if it wasn't for a lot of that Western aid going to Ukraine, they probably wouldn't have lasted this long as they have. And of course, Putin hasn't achieved his aims. He wanted that country within about a week, but all of that equipment and the fighting force of the Ukrainian military means it's still an ongoing conflict. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.